everyone, back at Farmer Pat here. Today we're going to be talking about seeds that I'm starting in April. Just recently I posted a, a, a tour, my four month tour of my garden. And uh, for most of you who have been following me, you, you know that I recently moved to Palm Bay and we moved into a piece of property that was basically all weeds and all useless bush. And in just four months I planted a ton of plant, fruits and vegetables. As a matter of fact, we've, we've planted over a hundred individual different kinds of fruits, vegetables, um, potatoes, sweet potatoes, and ground provisions, and you know, plus a whole bunch of ornamentals. Um, and majority of it I did basically by myself. So I just want to encourage you guys to get out there and plant today. Today we're going to talk about seeds that I'm starting in April. At the end of reviewing seeds that I'm starting, I want to give you guys a special invitation to an upcoming conference. It's called Unmasked, What in the World is Going On? And this really is going to address everything that's going on. It might, some when you look, think about the food shortages and you think about the war in Ukraine and how that's affecting the food shortages, when you think of the supply chain, um, the supply interruption and how that's causing all the prices to increase and guys have you seen the gas prices recently it's everything's just out of control and you know this this conference is basically gonna tell you how to get get your peace back because in this world of turmoil we need peace and the good thing is is to know that this all of this might take us by surprise but it didn't take God by surprise so this basically is just the conference is going to be talking about what does the Bible say about all that's going on and how do we get that piece back. But we'll talk more about that at the end. And what I'll do is I'll actually put a link to the conference um, b below. I'm going to actually have a small speaking part. I'm going to be talking about what drove me to start growing my own food and teaching others to grow their own food and probably give some more tips there so hope to see you guys at the conference and anyway let's get started on season starting in april all right i'm back inside and i have lots going in 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 um april so first let's talk about the sorrel i am super excited about planting a sorrel i literally been wanting to plant this since like february even though i knew it was way too early um, sorrel is um, really in the hibiscus family and it's a drink it we what we do is in Jamaica we we make it into a drink um, for Christmas time as a matter of fact some people drink it all year round but it's really like a Christmas drink that we sometimes we add rum to it or wine to it and it's like a very famous Christmas drink 99% of what you see in Jamaica is a red sorrel but there's also the white sorrel so I'm gonna be planting some sorrel seeds and um, it's gonna actually grow up into a nice little hedge so I'm gonna find a nice area that I, I'm gonna put this in also I was super 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 excited I didn't plan on pl planting this but I just found this in my seed um, folder you guys know my my um, photo album that I that I keep my seeds in so these are dried muscadine seeds from August of 2020 and I absolutely love muscadine grapes and I've been looking for a muscadine vine um, to plant here I think they'll do better here than in South Florida I'm um, not that I'm in Central Florida but I haven't been able to find one so I was, I'm glad to find the seeds yes it may take a while to, to grow up but I don't mind waiting next I got two sets of seeds um, two sets of seminal pumpkin seeds and I'm so excited so Sandy from creative girl homestead sent me this lovely package of multiple seeds I had asked um, I think on my September video if anyone had sem seminal pumpkin not only did she send me some seminal pumpkin seeds but you can see she sent me all these other seeds and several different kinds of basil really excited to try the basil probably won't plant that until in the fall and she has some dino melon which I've never had um, and some honeydew and seminal pumpkin seeds so I may plant I'm definitely planting the seminal pumpkin seeds now probably just plant two uh, and see if they germinate well and um, and Loy from my the garden tour I did that one acre tour in South Miami she also sent me some seminal pumpkin seeds some are from Etsy and some are from Baker's Creek so 
um you know we it can't have too many too much pumpkin i mean i absolutely love pumpkin we jamaicans we eat pumpkin in our soup we steam it and eat it with dinner plus pumpkin is one of those survival foods that i i think i spoke about pumpkin is another great survival food because you can actually um grow the pumpkin and then have it as long as you don't cut the stem off it can last up to six months in in you know in storage so pumpkin is a great survival food and it's definitely something i'm going to be planting next we have um pride of barbados seeds and this is from my friend my friend and co-worker meg she sent this all the way from texas and pride of barbados is i believe the national flower of barbados it's a it's a small tree or small bush you can actually grow it in a pot or you can grow it directly in the ground and i've been reading about it you can actually cut it down to the ground like in the winter and it will come right back so i'm going to be planting some of these well actually i had already started some seeds and i'm going to show you in a minute i already started some seeds um in in a wet napkin in, in a cup because i was trying to kind of get a jump on some of this so i did it li literally a few weeks ago so we'll, we'll go check on that in a minute and then right here i have some seeds from my friend um keo from homestead in the burbs and you guys remember that tour i just did with all the medicinal plants um she gave me a beautiful gift when i was leaving that had um, multiple different seeds and one of them was a lemon queen sunflower and you guys will remember last month i had started seeds some mammoth sunflower seeds and i had planned on um on laying them out behind my chicken coop because the sunflowers, once they get big, it will give the chicken coop um, some shade and also the chickens love the sunflowers. However, um, Patrice did not transplant them in time. So these ger germinated extremely quickly, like within three days they germinated, but I didn't put them out in time, so they all dried up. So I'm going to direct sow, not that it's much warmer, I'm going to direct sow some mammoth sunflowers and I'm going to also inter-sow some lemon queen sunflowers from from keel i also have here some winter squash and i'm not sure if i'm gonna plant this since we already have all those seminal seeds that i'm gonna start so i probably not plant the winter squash um seminal i think looks similar so i'm assuming it tastes very similar however i do love a butternut squash so i think i'm gonna put i'm gonna try and start at least one butternut squash then here I just have some wildflowers um, that I actually already started these in a in a pot. Some wildflowers, <coughs> and then <coughs> excuse me, I started some zinnias um, in also in a wet towel in a cup. We're gonna check on that in a minute. But I have really and I, I did the same thing for euthanasia. But I've really been have not taken good care of them. Um, I started them trying to get a head start, but then I forgot them for a while and they dried out. So we'll check on that in a minute to see how they're doing. Um, I plan on also planting some cantaloupe. And guys, um, for all these things that I'm looking at, I'm in South Florida. So I am looking to make sure that these will germinate in the zone, in the planting zone I'm in. And in the month of, of April and so everything that i'm planting here are good for for april as you guys as i've said i have a ton of food growing already but i really do love to intersperse the flowers with the food and a lot of these flowers do have that does have uh, medicinal um, properties and then finally when i visited um new jersey my my um aunt my 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 mother-in-law sister twin sister she had a ton of coleus flowers, different different color Joseph coat flowers, different kinds of Joseph coat. And a lot of them had flowers on it that had dried. So they had already gone to seed and they had dried. So I just picked a variety of different seeds and I put them all here. I just picked the dried flowers. So I am thinking there are lots of seeds in here. So I'm going to sprinkle some of these in a pot so I can, or probably just sprinkle them around the garden so I can have the beautiful Joseph Code plant growing throughout the garden. And then finally, this is really funny. So I got this from my um, friend, Aunt, from Aunt Thelma, that the 82 year old who did that, who we did that beautiful tour with. She said that these are purple angel trumpets, but I also 
found this that I also got from our garden. It says purple angel trumpet, purple trumpet lily. But I think it's the same thing, but it's completely different. So I think I'm going to grow both and, <laughs> and then we're going to see which one is really the purple angel trumpet. So, um, so these are mainly flowers on this side. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. How could I forget my okra? I love okra. So finally, I'm going to be uh, planting some okra from my mom's previous property. She moved three years ago. So these are, you know, some okra seeds from like three years ago and some Clemson spineless, which I hear they grow very well. My friend grew some and it was, it's very prolific. So I'm definitely going to be planting my okra. I love okra. All right. And then the family, um, I have some Cuban oregano here or French thyme. And I'm not sure. Depends on what you call it, but it's a very succulent, um, very strong flavored. It, it, it tastes to me, it's Cuban oregano. It tastes like oregano, but uh, my friend brought me some pieces from her garden and I added them to water five days ago and you can see it's already putting up a root. So this is one that's very, very easy to grow. It would literally take over our garden or take over the bed once you put it in. So I'm going to plant this uh, maybe in a pot or I probably plant it directly in the ground along with my other herbs. I'm getting ready to pull out majority or all of my mustard greens out of the bed on the left side, my, my first bed. And I, I think I'm going to trans, uh, I'm just going to let that bed completely be dedicated to my herbs and spices. All right. So let's check on what I, the ones I started in the cup. I've been really behind on um, transplanting some seeds that I started in these little cups. All I did was a um, wet nap napkin, put a little water at the bottom, then I put various seeds. So, put a couple of butternut squash seeds that never germinated. And here I have some euthanasia. They germinated. Oh my gosh, look how long they got. I'm gonna try and transplant it. I'm not sure if it's too late. Um, it's still alive, but very, very leggy. I mean, it's been several weeks since I started these seeds. Then here I have some trumpet, purple trumpet lilies. They had actually, these are actually angel trumpet, the angel trumpet plant, and they're purple. I'd never seen purple before, but I saw this when I did the tour of the 82 year old artist um, backyard, the fabulous backyard. Um, she had purple trumpets and you can see a few of them germinated. Here's one. But it looks like they probably dried up because they've been sitting here so long. Um, I'm going to try and put the rest of the seeds um, in some soil. But then here, this is called the Pride of Barbados. I believe it's a national plant or the national flower of Barbados. It grows as a small tree, a small little bush with beautiful orange flowers. So this, two of them actually germinated. I'm going to pot these out. Um, I have some some containers here with a little soil. I'm just gonna make a hole here. You can see the root system is quite good. Made a hole in the soil. So I'm gonna put this in. Pot this up. And once it establishes some more roots, then I'll go ahead and put this out. But this one looks pretty healthy. Next, let's plant some euchanasia. Echinacea, euchanasia, however you call it. So three germinated. Um, so I'm gonna, oops, uh-oh. It actually became a part of the napkin. Oh shoot, I actually broke. I broke the roots. Uh, so the other two, I'm just gonna, I might just plant it with the napkin. It will eventually go through. Uh, hold on one sec. I think I'm gonna plant it with the napkin. You can see the root is actually a part of the napkin. And that's because I made this dry out several times. Um, so it actually had to, you know, go into the napkin to try and find moisture. So I'm going to go ahead and, and pot all three in, into the same pot and these seeds. I'm going to put the seeds in there also just in case any more of them germinate. 
then as they get a little bit more established I will transplant them into other areas and this is Echinacea so here I potted them out um, and I actually just buried the whole napkin so we'll see if those come back and then finally um, the purple trumpet and on the other side I had some zinnias and you can see it's been quite a while it's been since 325 which makes it almost three weeks um, let me see how the zinnias did oh so oh looks like one of the zinnias had actually germinated um, but it looks like it separated from the seed hmm yeah, so I, I, I didn't really stay on top of these. What I'll do is I'll just, I'll just um, try and start some more. The purple trumpets. Yes, I see one also germinated. I'm just going to put these directly into the soil, the, the remaining seeds directly into the soil to try and give them a start. Okay, guys, that's it for today. Um, this That's it for what I'm planting in, in April. Um, I also had some sugar cane that I planted recently. Some red sugar cane that I absolutely love but guys um, I just hope this inspired you to go out and create some food security for your family some food security for your friends the community um, it's not difficult as I said you know you can go out there and plant a seed today you can start small but plant a seed I hope to see you guys at the conference that I mentioned I'll leave some information to the conference below and you know hope it will it'll help you find some peace as as you know we go through this very trying time anyway guys till next time let's go plant grow and eat together don't forget to share what with me what you're growing leave a message below about what you're growing and don't forget to share these videos bye now